Hi, I'm Michaela. And I'm Evelyn. And today we're going to show you the evolution of music. During the 50s, World War II had just ended and people started to have a lot more opportunities. However, African Americans were still being suppressed. So they expressed themselves greatly through music, primarily blues. And blues is what greatly influenced the rock and roll movement. Also, radios and the rise in TVs were a primary source of entertainment, which also sparked the music in this decade. Hi, I'm Velma. And I'm Wilma. And today on Hot Rock, we're doing the top 50s in the 50s. So today's artists are Elvis Presley, Ray Charles, we have Little Richard, and Johnny Cash. Oh. Elvis Presley is known as the King of Rock and Roll, and he was born January 8th, 1935. Did you know that his black hair wasn't always black? It was actually brown. And did you know that he had a twin? I bet you didn't. His first commercial single was named All Right Mom, but his first breakthrough Ray Charles, also known as the Genius, was born on September 23, 1930 in Albany, Georgia. He plays the piano, clarinet, sax, trumpet, and organ. And he's witty enough to win even a game of chess. Watch out now! I'm not used to being alone. I live on a long Little Richard, or Little Richie, was born in Georgia, and he was the third child out of 12 children. His scat singing created frenzies all over the world, and he never failed to perform with outlandish clothes and hairstyles. Johnny Cash was born on February 26, 1932. Did you know he got arrested seven times and tried to break out his jail cell and broke his toes by doing it? Him and his bandmates were always in trouble in hotels, and he always performed in all black. What a mysterious man. Music from the 60s area was greatly influenced from the political problems during that time period. Um, artists wrote about the Vietnam War to try to escape all their emotions and try to find a way to show their emotions. The anti-war music made a huge impact on cultural and political aspect of society. The 60s was a radical time for music. It was a massive change for the rest of the decades. The Beatles are an English rock band formed in Liverpool. Band members are George Harrison, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, and Ringo Starr. They constantly top the charts. The Beach Boys are an American rock band from California. Before they were known as Beach Boys, they were called Penny and the Cadets of the Passion. Did you know Dennis is the only one that can serve? I love the colorful clothes you wear And the way the sunlight plays upon her head The Zombies were also an English rock band. Their top hits were Tell Her No, She's Not There, and Time of the Season. In the 70s, lyrics were about protests and social change. Many advocated for gay rights and women's rights. This era was more about promoting peace, love, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Welcome to the 70s, filled with groovy tunes and funky beats. This is a time for sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I'm going to talk about some groovy hits from Diana Ross and Led Zeppelin. The groovy artist Diana Ross was born in Detroit. Did you know she was in the Supremes before she became a soloist? And now she's currently working on a movie called The Wiz. It's my house. I'm totally stoked today to talk about Stevie Wonder and Elton John. Whenever I'm in the mood for a groove, I put on some Stevie. He had his first hit when he was only 13 years old, and he always uses the harmonica. <laughs> Not a lot of artists use the harmonica. <laughs> Led Zeppelin is a rock band from London, and they're making headlines with their song, Stairway to Heaven. Elton John has more of a soft, rock kind of style. He was born in England, and he just recently came out as bisexual. Who would have known? The 80s decade created a new genre of music. They used synthesizers and drum machines. Sexual content was big in the lyrics of 80s music. This pushed the boundaries of society. The 80s was filled with bitch and 
tattoos. <laughs> Prince was born June 7, 1958. When he was only 10 years old, he danced on stage with James Brown. His film Purple Rain just hit number one in the box office. And his song, When Doves Cry, is topping the singles chart right now. Did you know his favorite meal is spaghetti and orange juice? Can you picture this again? Madonna was born on August 16th, 1958. She would never get caught in the color orange. And before she became a big star, she was working at Dunkin' Donuts. And you could see her voguing her way to straight A's during school. Duran Duran was formed in Birmingham, England. They got their name after an evil villain in a sci-fi fantasy movie called Barbarella starring Jane Fonda. Did you know Girls on Film is banned on MTV and BBC? You know that new song, Thriller? I heard they got all the costumes from the thrift store, and his favorite food is Mexican food, the best. And I heard he's going to be considered the king of pop soon, so watch out. <laughs> 90s music was greatly influenced by political, religious, and social beliefs. The music of this era inspired kids to go against authority in a way not seen since the 50s rock and roll craze. The 90s was a rad time for music. Whether it was hip hop, R&B, or rock, it was full of hella hits. Red Hot Chili Peppers was a band that formed in LA in 1983. Give It Away was their first single, and at one point they were called Chili Willy and the Red Peppers. Tupac was born June 16th, 1971. He attended Baltimore School of Arts where he learned ballet. And his, before he became Tupac, he was known as MC New York. And I hope you know that he's dating Madonna now. Nirvana's 1991 mega hit was Smells Like Teen Spirit. Before Nirvana was Nirvana, they went through band names such as Fecal Matter, Pen Cap 2, Bliss, and Skid Row. Their album, Nevermind, has stayed on the Billboard's top 200 albums for 252 weeks. <laughs> March 27th, 1970. She was known as Mirage in high school because she always was ditching class. And a new song, Once We Day, is supposed to be a huge hit. So let's see. And that concludes our evolution of music video. Hopefully, you were able to understand how political and social events can influence each decade of music. Thank you.